Hey then everyone, Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. Today, we've got a very special guest on the channel, another collab for you ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be taking a look at our top 10 RPGs together. Let's start you off then, Miss Bubbles. Take it away. Hello Switchwatch friends, I'm Miss Bubbles and it's so nice to meet you. Thank you Juan for inviting me to be part of such an amazing video idea. I adore RPGs. This genre is my absolute favorite besides life sim farming games. Just being immersed in an RPG for hours makes me so happy and I have 5 fun picks that you can play right now on the Nintendo Switch. West of Loathing is a comedic RPG where you play as a stick figure in the Wild West. You traverse this black and white open world that is full of danger, puzzles and funny encounters. Despite the world being in black and white, it still has a certain charm to it and attention to detail in a more simplistic way and I think that's what makes this game so unique. Even when you go into combat, the quirkiness here is absolutely hilarious. Not only that, but you are bombarded with lots of jokes and 50 hats to gather as well as funny conversations to discover. Your choices here really matter and this opens up the possibility to replay the game a few times and have different outcomes to explore. I know what you're thinking, you might be looking at the gameplay right now and be like, how in the world is this a good RPG experience? Well, you'll be surprised because you can even choose what type of character you want to be and this decides how the game goes for you. You can be someone who has a silver tongue and talk your way out of fights, or you can be a cow puncher, yep, you heard that right, and decide to take action into your own fists. The possibilities are endless and I cannot recommend this RPG enough. That was a great game choice there, Miss Bubbles, with West of Loathing, but I'm going to start off with The Witcher 3, yes, a massive hitter on the Nintendo Switch. The Witcher 3, I don't really need to say much, I don't think, about this wonderful game. It has won hundreds of awards, but for very good reason. It's a game that you can get lost in for absolutely hours and hours. The world of The Witcher 3 is massive from the city of Novigrad to the Skellig Islands to sailing through the open seas. There's a great story here, loads of open world to explore, and you'll find a playstyle that I'm sure will suit you. Whether you're into ranged or melee combat, you'll find your way here. I cannot think of many better ports on the Switch than The Witcher 3, and this 100% deserves a place in your collection. Miss Bubbles, what have we got next? Yeah, yeah, Juan, you can talk about Witcher 3 as much as you want, but I'm gonna compete with it with Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. What can I say other than I wish I played this game years ago? For some reason, I was just so scared of it, it seemed like a game that would kick my butt. I still remember the first time I played and how I was just so lost in everything that I can do and I would sit for hours playing nonstop. This is yet another amazing fantasy RPG where you have so many things to do that you're gonna be like, I just don't know what to do next. From owning a house, joining different factions, adopting children, getting married, getting companions to guide you, and having an immersive world that never ceases to amaze and telling you there is so much for you to do here. Skyrim is actually my third favorite RPG after Witcher 3 and Fallout 4. You have this beautifully made skill tree where you can create endless builds and classes. You also fight dragons and learn special skills from them. But I can't really comment on that one because even after I played on the Nintendo Switch for 200 hours and then modded the heck out of this game on the PC, I refuse to fight any dragons. You can fight me, but I ain't touching no dragon. <laughs> On a serious note though, I cherished every moment I had with Skyrim and I wish I can go back to that feeling when I first played it. The sense of awe that I had is an expression that I don't get that often when I'm playing games for the first time and I envy you if you're going to play it for the first time soon. Skyrim is a fantastic game, Miss Bubble. was hundreds of hours on that one myself. A really great choice. Next one for you, ladies and gentlemen, from me, though, is Divinity Original Sin 2. Now, this is another award-winning game, a fantastic RPG. Uh, one where you can choose five races and six origin characters or create your own. There's so much to explore, whether with friends or you can even add artificial intelligence companions so ai companions there and what i love about this game is the combat and how tactical it is in joining up to three other players only one of you will become a god though that would be me gives you some friendly competition there's loads to explore here and it's a game that i don't think you're going to get bored of for a very long time indeed ms bubbles what's next from you 
Apart from starting the humor in the title itself, South Park The Fractured Butthole is my first entry into the turn-based genre. I personally don't watch South Park, but this title in itself was enough for me to want to try this game. Here you're trying to be a hero and save your town with your group of friends. However, everything goes wrong all the time and you and your buddies keep trying to fix things. In combat, you use various superpower abilities, many of which are ridiculous. The graphics take on a 2D style but are very colorful and detailed in their own way. And I'm not gonna get too much into detail with the abilities that you can use, but just hear me out, they are absolutely ridiculous you're gonna laugh your butt off. I just found myself always stopping for a moment and thinking, is this really an ability in this game? What the heck is happening? Really the things you do go to say how much of a wild imagination the developers have and I can only imagine how much crazier South Park is as a TV show. I will say this though, if you get offended easily, please stay away from it. Some of the jokes can be a little bit too much for some. I also want to point out that I played this again as a newcomer to the turn-based genre and it was very very fun for me to get into this type of gameplay. It was very easy for me to tell if I can take down an enemy or if I just had to let it go for now. I was also introduced to being strategic in my attacks and being careful about which move I choose next. This one has a lot to offer and I don't see many included in their RPG picks on the Nintendo Switch so I thought now is the right time to let you know about it. And hey, if you're not sure if you should try this game yet, it goes on sale quite a lot so wait for a sale and pick it up then. Thank you very much. Next up from me is Ashen. Ashen is a brutal world, but that doesn't matter when you can play this all in co-op, which is absolutely quality, by the way. The world can change, which means no two playthroughs are ever the same. And I love that there's always rewards for exploring off the beaten path. The combat has more of what I like in terms of that challenging combat like a Souls game. I also love how each encounter, which could look innocent enough, has the potential to be lethal, which makes you tread carefully, that is for sure. Finding survivors is also cool because you can invite them back to your own town and often these folk will have skills to help you craft, which is really key to the game. I really enjoyed it and think you will do too, especially with a friend. If you haven't subscribed to Miss Bubbles channels yet, then I will put the link in the description below. What's next? Child of Light is a turn-based fantasy RPG where you play as Aurora, an Austrian girl from 1895 who finds herself one day in a lost fairy tale. If you love fairy tales and creatures, you're gonna have your fair share of amazing characters that you're gonna be meeting here. And if you also enjoy fun gameplay mechanics next to your engaging story, then this one surely delivers. Battles follow an active battle system, and you're not here fighting on your own. You have your Firefly companion along with other amazing characters to help you on your journey. However, if you're wondering what kind of objective is here, you basically need to recover the sun, moon, and stars in Lumeria. You also take part in crafting, choosing which skills you want to have, being tactical on the battlefield, and more. If you don't want to play alone, you can enjoy this game with your friends in co-op mode. In addition to everything I have said already, the music here is magical in its own way and the dialogue is in the form of rhyming which I adore. This is the game for you if you're looking for something to immerse yourself in a touching story, a beautifully crafted art style, all while combining factors of engaging combat. Okay, next up from me is Boulder's Gate. It's a golden oldie RPG, but I think it deserves to be here and should have your full attention. Every choice in the game matters. These are Dungeons and Dragons classic games. Of course, you can customize your hero, recruit some allies, and explore for the truth, for profit and adventure. Now, the pack includes part one and two is the enhanced edition, giving you loads of language options and a brand new chapter with over 25 hours of gameplay. If you like your classic RPG games, then look no further than Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Miss Bubbles, what's your last one for us today? Kingdoms of Amalur really surprised me. I really wanted to get into this one a long time ago, but the negative reviews of the new one made me just very hesitant, but I'm so happy that I finally got into it and I wish I did earlier. This fantasy open world RPG ticks all the boxes that I look for in a game to hook me. 
So the story is about you, a person who was supposed to be dead, but surprise, surprise, you're very much alive. Unlike other people in the world, you do not have a destiny tied into your future. So you somehow get to write your own fate and get a few to choose from. Then off you go trying to understand what is happening in the world, discovering the secrets and mysteries of Amalur and the surrounding regions, completing side quests and getting to know different people and factions. However, the heart and soul of this one lies in the very engaging combat system and the freedom in character building. There are plenty of skills to choose from, weapons to get, and fun combos to enjoy in combat. However, if you're looking for a game that has amazing storytelling and wonderfully gorgeous graphics, then I think this one is not for you. But if you're looking for lots of engaging fights, an immersive world, customization, and overall a really fun time to have, then Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning should be on your radar. It was bubbly awesome to sit down and think about my favorite RPG picks for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much Switch Watch for having me and I hope to see you on my channel. Bye bye! Thank you so much for your contribution today Miss Bubbles, really do appreciate it. And uh, as I said to our followers, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, we will have a link in the description for you. My last choice of today is Pillars of Eternity. After you chose the wonderful Kingdoms of Amalar, Miss Bubbles, Pillars is another classic made by Obsidian, with tactical combat in a fantastical world of storyline, which I thought was quality, kept me glued. This version comes with all the original content, plus all the DLC and expansions. I thought that the uh, UI updates were pretty good too, allowing you to navigate the character creation, pause combat, party management was all pretty simple to navigate on the Switch. Gather your party here and you go on what I think is a classic adventure and a quality game to add to your RPG collection. Thank you Miss Bubbles for today. Please everyone, if you enjoyed this fantastic creator's content, and check out our channel and possibly subscribe. I'll put the link in the description. Now we ourselves are looking to get to 100K subscribers, so please subscribe to us. If you've not already done so, thank you to all of our members, our subscribers for your support. And if you're still watching this video, you are an absolute legend. Really do appreciate it. What was your favorite RPG on this list and what would you have added that we haven't? We look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.